hey guys welcome back to this channel if you're welcome to this channel for the very first time i'm Eunice by the way welcome back to my channel guys if you've been here before and before i get into this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it leave your comments down in the comment section share like put on post notification button so you get notified whenever i post a new video i'm sure you're wondering why is she holding a book in her hands and so today i'm talking about i'm going to do like a book review on this book so it's called how i almost ruined my marriage so this is the book and this is the beautiful woman that wrote the book her name is Eno jerry so she's married to pastor jerry az and if pardon me my nails is off and um maybe you've bumped into their prayer session so they do this prayer session called nspd um she is the wife of the uh, lead pastor of strings of joy in nigeria and for some reason i just bumped into her youtube channel um so i bumped into her youtube channel and she did a couple of interviews the first time i saw a review on this book was she did an interview with in the radio station and uh, recorded the video and posted it on YouTube. And so I watched it, I found it very interesting. I was like, okay, she's a pastor's wife. What did she do that almost ruined her marriage? That was a question I asked in my head. And that curiosity made me to buy the book. And I bought the book. This book is about, I'm trying to just check how many chapters. So she has about 10 chapters in this book. It's a small book, trust me, it's so small because the writings are kind of big. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm trying, yeah, so the write-ups are kind of big. So it took me, I think, literally one day to finish this book. And so I think I finished it because the story was so interesting. She wrote it in such a way that it will feel like you were there seeing what was happening in her marriage with her. So basically it was all about her anger issues it all fell on that anger issues bad habits which was generated uh, from when she was little you know those passive toxic habits that you have that you don't see them as anything you just see that oh this is me that's how i am live with it and um, things like that and also uh, the kind of uh, family she was exposed to in terms of um marriages what was the first kind of marriage that you were exposed to? What did you experience? What was your first contact with marriage? You don't have to be, for instance, like kids now, let's say your families, your parents are married. How was it? So those were all contributing factors to what happened. So it was more about she had this anger issues where she always felt, uh, even when her husband was coming to her with things that she, he felt wasn't, um, things he felt she didn't approach correctly. Let's say for instance, maybe someone did something to her, how she approached it. She just took it like everyone was against her. So you know, I don't think she took it. I think it's more about being defensive. So you feel like no one's going to defend you. So you always have that defensive mode on. So I think that was the major thing. She had that kind of uh, mentality to things. And so um, it got to a point where she started losing her husband so she was always conf conf confrontational so it was all about argument so from what she said in the book she saw that in her parents marriage and she always just felt it was normal to to be that expressive in uh let's say and you know sometimes instead of talking things over some people tend to argue about it and so um yeah she also spoke about a bit of pride and things like that like how can you talk to me like that so it was more like malice pride there were just little little things here and there that all accumulated to uh just pushing her husband away so it got to a point where he would not feel comfortable to approach her or have a chat about her because he always felt it was going to turn to an argument and things like that and she also felt she always had to defend herself against her husband and the main thing that was a turning point for her from what she said was 
and when she noticed she was gradually losing her husband she had to turn to god and from what she said it's not like it was so easy of course it's not going to be easy like a habit you build since when you were little like let's not even talk about her now let's look at ourselves as you're watching this video just look at yourself you're there alone no one is there to judge you just think about yourself and think of those little little bad habits that we have that we've cultivated over time and then we notice that this habit is actually hard to stop. So you may tell, you may say to your husband, oh, I won't do it anymore. But the truth is, saying those words and putting those words into action, putting those words into action is what is needed. It's not just the words of, oh, I will change. So it took her a lot of time to effect this change with prayer, with support from her husband, understanding. So if you're out there and if you have a wife and you're experiencing things like this, just be very patient even if it's your husband it doesn't have to be the wife even if it's your husband just ex exercise some patience keep praying for them um yeah and they also have to do a lot of work it's not just like they have to do a lot of work it's more like a mindset kind of thing so she had to change her mindset and know that it was her self and her husband against issues not her against him so that was a mindset that she said really helped her and she started praying a lot, started reading the Bible a lot, reading the Bible like in terms of submission, started reading the Bible in terms of a woman, how a woman with such, you know, sometimes the society kind of make it feel like, makes it feel like a woman with a strong personality does not fit into, um, does not fit into what Christ pictures a woman as. But to be honest, there are strong women in the Bible like Deborah and uh, Ruth and so many women that stood on their ground and did things and like made great moves in the Bible. So whatever personality trait and don't, another thing she mentioned was don't ever use all those, um, what do they call them? All those, um, I forgot the name they call them, but you know all those things that like talk about personality trait. Oh, I'm Scorpio, that's why I'm like that. Oh, I'm Sagittarius. Oh, I'm this one. Oh, I'm Pisces. That's why. Don't ever depend on all those astrological signs and try to like use them to justify why you're the way you are. Put those things aside. Those are those are uh, scientific whatever but at the end of the day god is able to change us he's able to discern our hearts is you know the bible said that the word of god is like a two-edged sword it's going to cut deep like it's not just going to cut it's going to cut through the joints and even discern what's in our hearts like the power of God can change things around, even your personality, like you start working on your mindset, start feeding in the right things, start having the right people around you, start consciously, aside that you have to consciously make a decision to do all these things. Just like you make a decision to consciously love someone, she had to make a decision to consciously respect her husband, to consciously make sure she had her emotions under control. Because emotion, I think we women were very emotional, that's just the truth. But being able to like put that your emotions under the control of God, under his control, like fully under the submission of Christ and say, my emotions have no control over me, I, I, I am who I am, I, I, I have control over my emotions, I decide what I want to do with the power of the Holy Spirit in me, I'm going to do the right thing, I'm not going to let my emotions make me do the wrong thing, like constantly like doing those confessions. You can go, uh, go ahead to like buy the book and go ahead to like you can go to her youtube channel she has a whole series on her on managing emotion she did a whole series on that i think it was so many episodes i watched them on how she was able to manage her emotions with confessions every day reading the word of god scriptures that she read so just go there watch it and i know i'm not married and people will be like who are you like i am married who are you this thing who wants to come and tell me what to do i really hope you just enjoy the whole summary like the book is way more than that i told you it's 10 chapters there's no way i can say everything here right now so if you like it go ahead and get grab the book grab a copy this video is not sponsored in any way i am just doing it because i like the book and i want to help people out there so thank you guys for hanging around with me i hope you enjoyed this video if you're still here, thank you. Thank you. You're the real G's. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you like it. Give this video a thumbs up. 
and turn on your post notification button so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.